Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox is vying to keep his seat for 16 years. He has led the city through a deadly tornado and a pandemic. Tonight, Jabari Pruitt sits down with Walt Maddox for his final profile on the candidates for mayor. But to make the incumbent Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says to lead a city such as Tuscaloosa needs an experienced leader. He has led the city through some rough time, but managed to bounce Tuscaloosa back. And he wants to continue to lead in the right direction. Determined and tested. Tuscaloosa is in safe and proven hands with Mayor Walt Maddox. In times of uncertainty, Walt stood up to lead building, strengthening, uniting. And whatever tomorrow brings for Tuscaloosa, Walt stands ready to meet the challenge. Four-time incumbent mayor Walt Maddox has led the city of Tuscaloosa for 16 years. Now he's hoping to be re-elected for his fifth term. You know, for me as mayor, I know and believe that I am the best prepared to take on the challenge. Maddox says he's a mayor who's not afraid of a challenge. He's led the city of Tuscaloosa through the Great Recession, the April 27, 2011 deadly tornado that destroyed 12 percent of the city, the COVID-19 pandemic and the investment in West Tuscaloosa. The mayor says he's the best candidate to continue the city's success. Well, facts are stubborn things. Um, take a look at the corridor down Martin Luther King from where it was in 2005 to where it was today. Look at McKenzie Court, look at Maud Watley, look at the Weaver Bolden Library, look at the new MLK Elementary School, uh, look at the streetscaping that's taking place, look at the $32 million project that's going on today that's the MLK Jack Warner Parkway beautification project. Um, there are people today in West Tuscaloosa that I still get letters from who now write me that they no longer fear when it's raining because the city spent uh, over $30 million in drainage projects. Think about the over $50 million in water and sewer where people have clean water. They no longer have sewer problems. Uh, they will tell you a different story. And the thing that I think ultimately, you, you can take my word for it, but the best thing to do is take the people's word for it. A week ago, the mayor and council purchased University Manor Apartments in Tuscaloosa in an effort to tackle crime in that area. Violence in the city is an issue, the mayor says, he and the council have been dealing with for years. As we look back at Juanita Drive, Juanita Drive prior to the tornado, about seven and a half percent of the city's crime took place in Juanita Drive. Of course, the tornado changed the community, but we worked with the community in building it back and look at it today. It is a shining model of what can be done. We were very fortunate. Uh, my team and I uh, went out to uh, University Manor. We walked the neighborhood. We identified uh, 13 properties that were owned by one business, by one entity. Mm -hmm. And they were just happening to looking, they were happened to looking for a buyer. Their last buyer had just backed out. And so for us, it was an opportunity to go in, demolish these pieces of property, make them green fields, and then create a master plan around it. The other thing is officer safety. Mm -hmm. And we certainly saw earlier this week just how close things can become. Another big issue Issue. Mayor Maddox says he's led the city during the COVID-19 pandemic, and as of Wednesday, the number of COVID-19 cases in Tuscaloosa County are up, but the number of hospitalizations are down. Maddox says through his leadership, he's proud of where the city stands. And with COVID-19, there was no playbook. From the very beginning of the onset, uh, we began our planning in late February, and our mission was to protect our health care system to give it the time it needed to get the PPE, to get the room capacity, to get the treatment, treatments that would be coming out, and lastly, just giving them time to go ahead and get staffing necessary to take on COVID-19. Um, we took that on very early. In fact, uh, we took it on probably one of the earliest communities in the state. Mm -hmm. And today you see that we are able to treat uh, over 100 COVID patients while continuing to provide health care in our community. Back in 2019, the council approved Maddox's Elevate Tuscaloosa plan, a plan that would generate around $250 million over the next 10 years and a one cent sales tax increase. It will also fund education, transportation, and 21 new projects across the city. When it comes to Elevate Tuscaloosa, Maddox says if re-elected... And because this city is financially strong and we have the wherewithal, we kept Elevate moving, and here's the reason why. 
Um, I've tried to approach running the city like running a business. Uh, we're in competition uh, with Huntsville. We're in competition with Chattanooga. We're in competition with Lexington and Nashville. Um, we have the financial strength to keep those Elevate projects moving forward so that when we're competing for jobs, uh, we can begin catching up and then moving ahead of them. The other thing is, is that part of Elevate that I'm the most proud of, it created universal pre-K here in Tuscaloosa. All three mayor candidates for the city of Tuscaloosa have been profiled. Now they are asking you for your vote on election day, which is March 2nd. Reporting from the studio, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.